Today's goal is to design the back of the fairy tale Frogo bookmark. Which is kind of crazy because I thought it would only be seven and then it increased more than double. Hello and welcome back to another student vlog. Today is Thursday, April 18th. If you don't know who I am, I am Mei Yang. I am a digital illustrator who draws all things cute. Yesterday, I spent a lot more time on my Stay Toasty sticker than I thought I would. I wanted to try doing something a little different with it when it came to creating a product. So I ended up doing a background and stuff for it. And then I ended up not even doing <laughs> what I was planning to do. So now the Stay Toasty sticker has a background which I don't see a problem with. So that piece of artwork would be turned into a sticker for my next shop update. I wasn't planning to finish it. The first time I had an idea for that sticker, I was like, that would be the perfect sticker. A toast with a toasted marshmallow sitting by the campfire, wearing a warm scarf and it says stay toasty on it. I thought it was like an amazing idea. But then I thought about it more and I was like, no one is going to want it. But then I shared the flat colors and the artwork in a previous live stream and I was encouraged to finish it so I did and I'm really happy that it did. It turned out really, really good. I like how it turned out. So I will share that with you in a little bit. Today's goal is to design the back of the fairy tale Frogo bookmark. I wanted to do that last week, but other things came up and I didn't have time for it. So today is the day to do it. Hopefully I will get that done in time so I can make the bookmarks today. Last week you saw the art prints. I'm taking Fanny from the art print that he's in and turning that into a sticker. I think it will look really, really good. Let me show you the toasty artwork. Here is the artwork. At the bottom here we have a little fire. I wanted to make it look like the sides here were his arms and he had his arms up in the air. So I don't know if I achieved that or not, but I think he's super, super cute. Look at those cheeks in that face. 
The toast has an egg front here that's like a pin that's on his scarf. And then here is a toasted marshmallow. And then we have the super cute toast and stay toasty on top here. I'm happy that I took the time to finish it. It took me 5 hours and 33 minutes to finish this. And that was a lot longer than I thought that I would work on it. The plan for the back of the bookmark is to use this book as inspiration. This is from the artwork I did for February's Patreon reward. And this is the reason why I did the Fairy Tale Frogo bookmark. So I think it'd be smart to imagine how this spine of this book would look like and then make it the back of the fairy tale froggo bookmark this is how the fairy tale froggo bookmark looks like in case you forgot but yeah let's get started <laughs> This is what it came up with. So I took the size of this book and implemented it on here. Originally these kind of curve in a little bit in the middle part here. But I decided to just keep this part straight because I have extra space because I'm going to widen it a little bit when I do double sided printing. I'm going to make the stem and the leaves darker to accommodate the lighter colored text. And I had a fancier text but I wanted it to be readable because I know not everyone can read cursive. This isn't white but it's more like a little bit gray-ish color. So I'm going to do that now. Two hours and 15 minutes later, I am done. I wanted to have the text on here because I wanted it to be very, very similar to a spine of a book. So here we have the flower that was on the book that the girl was holding. I think it looks good, right? It doesn't look too bad. Now I just have to set the file for the front and the back and then I can finally make them.
So I finally finished the bookmarks. Here is the front. And then here is the back. And I think it turned out really, really well. The funny thing about the bookmarks though is that they're a little bit smaller than my normal size ones which are 2 inches by 7 inches. I did everything right, like setting up the artwork and everything until the end where I had to print them. When I print them, they should be printed as the actual size but then I ended up printing it as fit to size and it made them smaller. So, <laughs> I am a little bit sad about it, but because it is just bookmarks, that really doesn't matter. It's not going to ruin my day that they're a little bit smaller than the standard one. Bookmarks can literally be whatever size. Glad that I finally did them. So now I'm going to set up some sticker files for the stickers I was talking about earlier today. It is getting kind of late though, so I might wait till tomorrow to print them. This is how the Femi sticker turned out. And here is the Stay Toasty sticker. The Stay Toasty sticker, of course, has the matte laminate on it. And Femi has the holographic sparkle laminate. Femi is the first holographic sticker that will be in my Etsy shop. I think they turned out really, really well. I'm happy with how they look. pretty proud of myself because everything that I planned to do this week has been done. I've been writing down how many products I would have in the upcoming shop update and there's a possibility that there could be 17 or 18 new products which is kind of crazy because I thought it would only be seven and then it increased more than double but I think there's some things that I'm not going to put out for the shop update because there's some things I want to do in the future so I might save some of those products for other things so it could be more like 13 products instead but yeah it's still super exciting next week i'm going to start working on shop photos i don't have everything for the shop update in yet so the stuff that i do have i'm going to start taking photos of them next week my favorite thing in the whole wide world to do for a small business Etsy stuff. I'm just gonna try to get the ball rolling even though it most likely won't happen until the end of May. It's just smart to go ahead and get some of those stuff done. That'll be the end of this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!